HubSpot is a powerful free CRM that will help streamline your real estate business. What's up everybody? It's Brent with the Indie Solution. And today we're talking about the customer relationship system we use, how you can set it up for your real estate business, and how we incorporate it into our everyday workflow. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below for more real estate related content. As a real estate business, you're going to need a good customer relationship system or CRM for short. This is going to allow you to keep track of leads from day to day and just help you stay organized. As a real estate investor, we deal with a lot of different and sometimes complex situations. So without a good CRM, we could lose out on a lot of potential business down the road. The CRM that we use is a free cloud-based system called HubSpot. When we were looking for a CRM to use, we kept it simple by comparing all of the systems by just two metrics, price and user experience. HubSpot was the one that stood out to us, not only because it interface with all of our email, social media, and all of our other systems, but it's also free. Now, there is a paid version, but as a wholesale business, the free version covers everything we need for our team, so there's really no need to upgrade. Today, we're gonna to walk you through the setup and use of this helpful free system. All right, here we are in the homepage of HubSpot. I'm gonna go over um, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the three most important things that I use and how it can help you in your wholesaling business. So first of all, from the homepage, the most important thing is contacts. What this does is it keeps your cash buyers, your sellers, your realtors, everyone that you have that you've that is some type of important contact in your business it keeps them all saved in here so here you can see um, everything about them just the basic stuff phone number all of that um, and from here when you're first starting out we're going to create a contact and you put the email um, first name last name a phone number you could skip lead status, that just has a few different things. Skip mail address, since you don't really need to know where they're living now, you just need the address that they're actually uh, selling. Uh, <laughs> let's skip that altogether. So we'll create a contact, and this is where all the important stuff is, everything that's inside of your individual contacts. So the most important things to look for are notes, calls, and tasks. These are the three things that I use pretty much every single day. I'm pretty much on every contact that I'm dealing with for that day. So first of all, notes, this you just type in whatever you want um, and whatever's pertinent to, to this specific um, seller or contact. You save it there. You could add pictures, add documents. Maybe you sent them a, a DocuSign or a um, Adobe sign and they filled it out you could keep it there next here is calls now I use this when I'm um, maybe before I call someone I put up I bring up this log call I call them up here you could select an outcome so connected left a voicemail whatever happened and this just helps you keep track of what's going on so you know, you're not gonna remember when you get a few hundred leads in here exactly what's going on with every single one of them. So I like to keep as much detailed information I can within here to make sure that I keep up to date with the last conversation that we had. So um, calls is pretty similar to notes, except I like using calls better because you could, it just keeps track of things better for you. So you could write whatever happened on the call, you could say, um, you know, whatever you want to say, and we'll log that. Now, the most important thing that I use, and the main reason that you're going to use a CRM, is for uh, what is in HubSpot called the tasks. Now, this tells you, it's pretty much like reminders or events or, um, you know, a calendar. You just put in what is your next task that you need to do with this certain um, contact. So a lot of mine, I'll say follow up or, or call, 
uh, maybe I'll say get picks and this way I know that I know the next step that I need to take with this specific uh, particular contact now pretty much every time I con I talk to a contact I'm gonna make a new task so that I know what I should do next and I don't forget so I'll say you know get picks um, make it for a week from now and then in a week from now it's gonna show me um, when I think what I need to do with them oh I'll, I'll show you um, a quick overview of what a completed um, contact might look like. So this person created on October 10th, uh, made some notes, logged a call, uh, followed up a few times, made more notes, made a task, and then I started a deal, which is what we're going to go over next. Started a new deal, offer accepted, um, and then sent to buyers, closed one. So this started on October 10th and it didn't close until December 4th. So that just shows you how much you need a CRM so that you could keep track of what's going on. So what are the deals here? I'll show you real quick and this will be the last thing that we go over. Um, so when you're on a contact like here, you press this, this thing right here and you could add a deal. So this is when you get a new contract signed you send it to buyers and stuff like that. You um, just keep track of what's going on. So maybe um, offer accepted, or whatever you want to put, um, close date, whatever um, your contract says is a close. Uh, deal type would pretty much all be new business, and then you could skip that, and they'll. Uh, and now put it in your deal pipeline over here where you can see you know hot leads uh, offer sent offer accepted sent to buyers closed one closed lost and that's where you can keep track of all of your most hot and um, qualified leads that will become deals in the end now as you can see hubspot's a super simple and easy crm that we use for our real estate business and think can help you and yours. Now there are other great competitors like Salesforce or Podio, but it's hard to beat HubSpot when it's so simple and it's also free. My name is Brent with The Indie Solution. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe below, and we'll see you next time.